Hey, Russell. Jonathan Alexander with the Charlotte Observer. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Jonathan. Uh, I'm wondering what, um, you know, went into your decision to play this year? What was the ultimate deciding factor that you felt comfortable to play this year? Uh, yeah, uh, I think before we get going, I just want to give a nice shout out to uh, the offensive linemen who are all with me here in spirit. Uh, Taylor Milton, Matt Paradis, Chris Reed, Caskey, uh, Schofield, Johnny Miller, Daly, all of you guys, right? You guys are all here with me. So I thank you guys for just your support. Um, look, I, mean, I, I was going into the last year of my career, uh, last year of my deal here, um, and I got traded. And look, I, I've always expected to play, you know, and I, I came here ready to camp, expecting to have a great year. Russell, David Newton with ESPN.com. To, to follow up on that, um, the reports are that, you know, if the COVID situation gets worse, you would consider retirement. What kind of where do you stand on all that? You know, I think it's unfortunate um, that, you know, so many people, um, uh, certain people in the media uh, are more interested in being the first to report as opposed to reporting something which is accurate. Uh, no conversations like that have been had uh, in order for, for uh uh, that individual to feel it necessary to put any information out there like that. And especially in, in, in during this time when so many uh, people, Americans across the world are uh, dealing with uh, unemployment uh, to even uh, put any sort of farce of information out there, it's uh, extremely disappointing. Uh, but look, I, I will say, look, I get an opportunity to do something that I love. And then so many people uh, across the world are unemployed or are going through really difficult situations. Um, and my heart definitely goes out to them. But uh, for, as, as for me, um, I still have a job. Uh, I still get a chance to report every morning uh, doing something that, uh, that I've been gifted to do. And I'm going to put my best foot forward and continue to do that, regardless of the situation. Hey, Russell. Um, Vincent from the Rock Report. As somebody who's. I'm so sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, whoever that was, your audio is not coming through. Hey, Russell, this is Joe Person with The Athletic. Good to see you this morning. I'll be at hey, Joe. Uh, how's your uh, – we, we heard Coach Rule mention a little lower back soreness. How are you feeling? And do you like uh, kind of the idea of, of him giving you a chance to, to get up to speed? You know? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to have the, the year I would like to have in being uh, out there for 16 games last year and to have – uh, acknowledgement from the head coach and say, hey, we want to make sure we take the best approach to, to make sure you return back safely into the game uh, and uh, and really stair step my way into full action has been uh, really good. And I think the organization has proven to be uh, top class uh, in recognizing the health and safety of their players. Um, so, uh, you, you know, me, I'm just getting worked back into everything. Um, and, uh, you know, today was a, was a good practice. Uh, I was out there much uh, a lot longer. Um, than even I expected to be. So um, I, I just take what I can get day by day. Russell, hey, Russell. Spectrum News uh, here in Charlotte. Uh, welcome to town that we can finally see you face to face. Uh, you. This is not your first go around in the NFL and you've been around for a bit. How do you feel that you slot in with this, this offensive line group and uh, because you know the, the you got Matt Paradis who's been around the block a bit yourself and Taylor Moten to a certain degree. How do you feel you slot in with with this group and maybe try to help build some cohesion and and, and bond this group together early on? Yeah, I, I think as the adage says that we're in extremely unprecedented times. You know, so I think uh, uh, being brought in as a veteran who's had uh, significant experience uh, hopefully is helpful to the room. Um, look, I. I all I know how to do is uh, uh, extremely try to do my job well. Um, and I hope in some ways um, that I can lead by example and, and, and show these guys how I uh, approach my work uh, and to, to be a professional. Um, so, um, look, I played with Matt Paradis, uh, what, four years ago. Um, he's uh, certainly a really talented player. Uh, I think Taylor Moten is going to be an up and coming uh, all pro tackle. I mean, uh, you know, there are guys all across the board who, um, I think we should really be looking out for as a really uh, special contributors to the team, you know, so um, I want to get in where I fit in uh, and uh, hopefully my work speaks for itself. 
Russell, Russell this is Dick Cox Mom. with Mom. Cox Sports Broadcasting and Lindy Sports. Uh, talk a little yeah. bit about you're coming into a new situation here with a young team that is kind of in transition period with a, a new coach and all like that. About your thoughts on the upcoming season? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, for all players, um, you know, it's always about the standard. Um, and, you know, Coach talks a lot, of, a lot about that here. Uh, we have a high standard in terms of how we approach our work. Uh, um, and uh, each day, uh, each play, really. Um, and uh, I think as long as we recognize that, regardless of the uniqueness of the times, um, you know, uh, we have a chance to win. You know, so uh, I usually I'm, I'm going to yield to whatever they're trying to you know, do here. Um, I'm completely bought in. And, uh, you know, each day uh, we're chipping away uh, trying to find our best. Russell, this is Miles Simmons from Panthers.com. Uh, how do you feel like the offensive line is coming together as a unit and how much has adding pads in the last two days helped in that? Well, it's good. It's good. I mean, we didn't necessarily get, you know, OTAs in the mini camp we're, we're necessarily used to. Um, but um, we are pretty much on ground zero, just like the rest of the league. Uh, so that means that we got to approach every day, every walkthrough, uh, every meeting, uh, you know, as if, uh, you know, we're on fire, you know, so... Uh, all that means is that uh, we're constantly going to push ourselves to be uh, competitive um, and to be extremely critical, you know, of um, our efforts on the field every single day, you know, and, and we're just going to keep plugging away, putting that together. Uh, we have a great coach in Pat Meyer. He's also here with me in spirit um, and uh, he'll do really well for us. Uh, and I fortunately, I've been able to be with him uh, in the past. So I, I understand what his expectations are. I understand the system pretty well. Hey, Russell, following on from that, um, Vincent from the right report, by the way, um, can you, as someone who has spent some time with Pat Meyer previously, could you talk a bit about what he's like as a coach and how he's aided your development as a player? Yeah, yeah. I think the first time I met him, um, I, um, you know, met him in his office and I said, hey, man, like I'm willing to buy in to do whatever I need to do in order to be successful. You know, we talked a, a little bit uh, about uh, just uh, my deficiencies and in, in, in ways in which I could be better. Uh, we made a lot of changes and I think uh, going out there is pretty evident amongst the group uh, that we were a better line um, than you know, what the organization had had in the past. You know, and it's no different here. He's walking into a same, a similar situation. Uh, he's an extremely cerebral guy. He understands ball. He understands the game, but also empowers his players to uh, do things which are extremely particular to them. Uh, so, uh, man, he's really good at what he does, um, and uh, I'm happy that I get another year to play with him. Hey, Russell, Elena Getzenberg with the Charlotte Observer. Hope you're doing well. Um, Thank you. I was wondering for you, you know, now that you've gotten to spend a little more time with Greg Little, um, what's your relationship like with him and how do you see him developing? Yeah, it's my relationship is similar to as it is for all the other guys. We're all learning each other, trying to figure out uh, one another. Um, and the most important thing is we're pushing one another in order to put our best effort out on the field. Uh, I see Greg, he's an extremely talented uh, young player, you know, and uh, like uh, – you know, things were done to me, you know, when I was a younger player is the veterans really took me under their wing, uh, supported me and showed me how to play the game. Um, and uh, I want to pay that forward, uh, you know, with Greg. I think he has a really good opportunity to be successful into the future. Hey, Russell, hey, uh, you've, been, you've been pretty uh, outspoken on social media. Um, I was wondering if you could follow up on yesterday. You tweeted out that the state of coronavirus is morphing into political satire. Um, yeah. Just curious if you could expound on that. Yeah, um, without getting too too far away from football, I think it's important that we think critically about the decisions made, especially when it comes to public policy. Um, I think there is some data uh, which really speaks to uh, uh, just how the hysteria of, of the coronavirus has actually been, been able to take place. Um, and whether that is the proper identifiers uh, from state to state in the hospitals, or even how uh, a lot of our political figures are handling this. Um, it's important that we all are aware um, and extremely, extremely uh, defensive when it comes to our own individual liberties. You know, so uh, as a, an American, a proud American, uh, honestly, I expect more. Um, and uh, we are in a real recession, uh, despite what the stock market may, may show us. Um, uh, and unemployment is skyrocketing uh, through the roof. Um, and it's really hard out there for a lot of people. And again, I'm very fortunate to be in the situation uh, that I'm in, but I also want to speak truth to what's going on and be as supportive as I can be. 
on that same topic, how do you feel about all the um, COVID uh, protocols that you as a football player, as an NFL player, are, are going through um, over the past few weeks as you've gotten into the facility? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Panthers are doing the, the best they can possibly do in order to maintain uh, a, a safe uh, workplace for everyone, but not just the players, but the employees and the coaches all across the board. Um, and, and I think that's all they can do. You know, I think a lot of is uh, out of our control in, temp- in terms of how things are being handled on a state to state level. Uh, but that's, we, we can't do anything about that. All we can do is uh, one, be grateful for an opportunity to work um, and, uh, and, and, and be compensated for our work and uh, see where everything else uh, ends up. Russell, I, I know you've been in a, a lot of training camps. I'm, I'm wondering, how does, how does this compare to other training camps you've been in as far as the style? I know Matt Rule said he wants to, you know, do it with speed and, and, and wants to be efficient. How does this compare to other ones you've been in? Yeah, um, I think this is my third first time head coach. Um, and each one of them have, they all have their different styles. Uh, I would say Matt is a, a guy who uh, really cares about um, getting the best out of his team uh, and recognizing, you know, what's uh, is, is, uh, or the, the characteristics and attributes of the team that will make it successful. Um, and while I can't speak to too many of the things that, uh, that he's doing, um, man, like uh, um, he is uh, really putting his best, best foot forward and uh, he's setting the expectations extremely high. Um, and uh, that's the type of coach I'm going to play for. Russell, Russell Josh Graham. Graham. I think um, when you look at today's practice in particular, it was very competitive. Lots of just 11 on 11 drills. Do you like that style of practice? And what do you think you get out of it? Uh, look, uh, any, any opportunity I get a chance to come out here and compete, it's, it's always good. Um, whether it's 11 on 11, I mean, five on five, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't matter at all. Um, the expectation is, is for, for us to dominate every single drill that we possibly can. You know, I, you know, when whatever Matt says, it's, it's going to go, you know. So um, I, it, it feels like the guys are, are rallying behind that and they understand, you know, but we got a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, and every day we're going to keep chipping away. Uh, Russell, Josh Graham, Sports Up Giant. You're obviously new to Charlotte. I'm interested in what you make of the city thus far. And you obviously have just one year left on your contract. Do you hope to have more security and get something done long term before the start of the year? I, I can't speak to that. You, you'd have to ask Marty uh, and Samir, uh, those guys. Um, but, you know, for right now, um, I still have an opportunity uh, to be the starting left tackle for the Panthers. Uh, we're working in training camp trying to get to week one. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it shapes up, you know. But uh, for now, like, I love what I do. Um, I would hope that I'm a real contributor to the team. And, uh you know, um, right now camp's in front of us and we got to put our hard hats on, you know, and, and make sure we got, we put a, a good product out there. Hey, David Newton with ESPN.com again. Uh, I don't know how many chances you've had to go against uh, F.E. Obata, but just what are your impressions of a young guy like that uh, trying to make his way in U.S. football? Yeah, I guess at 11 years now, uh, they're all kind of young guys to me. <laughs> uh, so whether it's F.A. or uh, Brian, uh, you know, I think Steve's a little bit older, um, or, or uh, Yeter, uh, like, you know, yeah. you can tell all of them want to be extremely good, you know, um, and we're really just kind of getting into it. And uh, like, I think um, iron sharpens iron, sharp and iron, you know, so uh, we're going to go at it um, and they're going to make me a better player. I'm going to make them a better player, you know, but uh, I, I really like what I'm saying. Russell, Steve Reed from the Associated Press. Do you have any concerns uh, moving forward with this season, I mean, I'm going into kind of an unprecedented time, and I mean, any concerns about health and you know your health, your family's health, and in the midst of this virus? Um, honestly, uh, like not really. Um, like, I'm a full believer. I think the human body is extremely resilient. Um, I, I think we need to uh, really acknowledge the fact that you know people we come in. In, in, we have interactions with millions of bacteria and viruses uh, per year. Um, and uh, I think, you know, uh, I, I try to look at my life holistically, you know, so whether that's eating a proper, uh, having a proper diet, you know, taking my, my, my vitamins, you know, and um, uh, that's the best I can do. Uh, anything other than that, it's out of my control. Um, and I, I can't be fearful of that overall. Anything else for Russell? I just have one, Ryan. Uh, Mike Solarte again, Spectrum News One. Uh, first couple of practices, first couple of weeks, 
and you're the guy, one of the guys out front trying to make space for the backs, what does Christian McCaffrey look like now that you're blocking for him? Is he a guy that needs just a sliver of, of space? Or, I mean, how, how, does that, how does it feel to be working with a guy that is obviously such a danger uh, to opposing defenses? Uh, I mean, the guy, he's probably one of the most competitive people I've ever been around. I mean, he competes during warm-up. <laughs> so I think that's a, a testament to the this, this sort of man he is. Um, and then secondly, the player, you know. So, I mean, anytime he gets the ball, I mean, he is 100% full speed. Uh, whether I'm out here or not, the guy's going to make plays, <laughs> you know. So uh, if I can find ways to, you know, make those uh, those holes bigger for him and um, and he can uh, get through that, uh, man, he's he's uh, quite a talented player. Um, and I look forward to playing with him. 